Hello and welcome to our first Pokemon Showdown team building special. This is because, well, there's several reasons why this is, but... First of all, this is our 50th Pokemon Showdown team building video, which is kind of crazy to think about. When you think about a series that's been going on for 50 weeks, and this is how I started off on YouTube, I started off with a team builder video, I was like, I kind of want to do this, decided to just upload anyway, felt like an idiot, still feel like an idiot, uploading this right now, I bet. But that's just kind of special to me, so I thought, you know what, that's one reason down, there's more, don't worry. Also, it's, as I said previously, my first video was a team builder, we've nearly been on YouTube for a year. It was August 16th, I believe, I, I looked this up, like, a couple of minutes ago, and I've already forgotten, but I think it was August 16th where I uploaded my first video, which means this is pretty much a year on YouTube for me, so that's another reason why we're going to be doing this uh, horrific video. Yep, this video is going to be horrific. And also, we just hit 200 subscribers, so you know what? It's time for me to have some, some horrible uh, Vietnam flashbacks and pain and suffering, because we're going to be doing a team with my top six most hated Pokemon. And I, I don't know how I feel about doing this, I, these Pokemon, they are not going to match together well, because I have a list in front of me of the Pokemon that I'm putting on this, because I had to think long and hard about what my top six most hated were. There were a couple that I flat out hate, and most people know I hate, they're going to be at the top list obviously, but to be honest, I have some pretty crazy reasons for hating the Pokemon that I hate, but we're just going to get straight into this with number six, which is a Pokemon that I think has some great potential. Has a nice stat pull. It's a nice type. But it's ended almost 50% of my Nuzlocks single handedly, and I hate this Pokemon as a Nuzlocke ender. You probably have an idea in your head of what it is, but it isn't that, I can assure you. The Pokemon I am thinking of is actually Hariyama. This Pokemon, it just. It just. It just kills me. It really does just kill me. If anyone has seen my... Shameless plug here, by the way. If anyone has seen my Pokemon Platinum Randomizer, you will know that this Pokemon causes me great trouble at the start of any single damn Nuzlocke that I do, that I record or don't record. This Pokemon is there. Again, I like the Pokemon itself, but it's it's got to a point where I just wish it didn't exist, and that's bad enough for me to put it on this list. Next up on the list is a lot of a more popular opinion as to a Pokemon that I know lots and lots of people do not like. I said that very strangely, I know, but... A Pokemon that I know most people hate mostly for its design, and that's Watchhog. And, uh, honestly, I'm in the same boat. I hate this Pokemon. I hate its design. I wasn't a whole fan of Gen 5 as it is, but this Pokemon, it just... Just look at it. it why is it wearing a safety vest? Why is its tail like that? Why is... I don't like this Pokemon. I, I tried so hard to like it, because I like a lot of the rodents. I like Fire. I like Lanoon. You know what? I quite like Lillipup and all that evolution line. I don't hate Raticate. I don't like Raticate. I'll put it like that. But I don't hate it. But this, this Pokemon, I just straight up hate. That's why it's going to be number five on my most hated. So uh, you can probably gather by now. Um, some of the ones that uh, are definitely going to be up on this list, I'm sure. Anyone that's watched any of my videos probably knows what number one and number two are going to be, at least, but... We'll get into number four, and uh, I don't even have to search for this one, it's already on this page. And uh, the reason it's here is because of its annoying stall. I hate the Pokémon because A, its design is terrible, B, the Pokémon stalls like hell, and see, it's caused me a lot of pain to come up against, and that Pokemon is Amoongus. I don't like Amoongus. I hate this Pokemon with every fibre of my being. I don't like it. I, I want... I can admit it has potential, like, it gets regenerate, it has some nice stat pool, it has nice stats, okay. I can admit, when a Pokemon is good, I personally hate it. I hate going up against it, I hate seeing it in the wild, I hate its design, it feels like a rip-off of Voltorb in a way. I get why they did it and all, I understand that, but I don't like it, it's number four, and we're moving on, because I don't want to have to look at it anymore. Oh wait, I still do, it's still on the list, god damn it. So, number three, <laughs> here's where we get into, uh, so far we have some Pokemon that, you know, we could potentially make a team around, you know, they're not the worst stat-wise, you know, we've got some bulky Pokemon, Watchhog, 
probably gets like Retaliate or something with Choice Band, I don't know, something like that. This, this next Pokemon isn't usable. It just isn't. And it ruined Grass types for me in Gen 2. When Gen 2 came out, this is Gen 2 Grass type, I thought, you know what? This Pokemon is going to evolve into something great. It really is. Okay, it's going to be like a Magikarp evolution, right? Right. I'm sure someone knows what it is by now. I thought, okay, it's got low base stats now. I'm going to evolve it. It's going to be great. It was terrible. And it single-handedly put me off of most grass types. It's Sunken. I hate Sunken. This, this Pokemon is, is just absolute trash. I mean, I have no idea how I meant to use this on a team. What am I meant to do with this? Am I meant to just cry? Is this is this just fodder? Does it get like final gambit? Can I use it as a choice scarf final gambit user? Is is that a thing? Wait, what? It does. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't think it actually does. I think Pokemon Showdown's just having a fit right now, to be truly honest. But either way, that's number three. I don't like Sunken. <sighs> Oh, we're, we're getting into some Pokemon that I really hate right now. We're really gonna get into some Pokemon that I, I genuinely wish would just never got put into the game. And uh, we have another stall Pokemon coming up. A Pokemon that stalls me out. A Pokemon that I think is one of the derpiest looking Pokemon. I don't hate its design. Design wise, I think this Pokemon is okay. Stat wise, I hate it. Ability wise, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> and that's Quagsire. I hate Quagsire there, I'll admit it. I don't like this Pokemon. I don't like anything about it. I don't like the unaware ability. I don't like the stockpile recover. Toxic. I don't like this Pokemon. It can only be hit by grass type attacks. It's just annoying. It's one of the most annoying Pokemon. And something you may have noticed here, that I just realized right now, we actually have a core. We have a physically defensive Quagsire, and especially defensive Amoongus. We have a core. This team might not be terrible. My top six most hated Pokemon might actually be a thing. Yes, we have a Sunken. <laughs> it's gonna be a, a definite struggle. I really do want to know if this thing gets Final Gambit. I don't think it does. It doesn't. I don't know why it let me put it in before, but... This is gonna be a struggle. Right. Before we get into number one, though, I have some honorable mentions that were Pokemon that I did consider putting instead of, like, Hariyama and stuff. So, when I talk about Nuzlocke ending, there was a Pokemon that may have popped into some people's heads, along with Hariyama, well, probably instead of Hariyama. That Pokemon, Wobbuffet. I hate Wobbuffet in Nuzlocke, it's ended so many nuts. it's just, it kills Pokemon in Nuzlocke. You go up against it, Destiny Bond, Counter, Miracle, those moves, they ruin Nuzlocke. Just, just straight up ruin Nuzlocke. And you will quite often get people put in rules specifically for Wobbuffet, called Wobbuffet Claws, to stop them ending it. And I hate that Pokemon. But once again, not the worst. A Pokemon a lot like Watchhog that I hate for design is Vanillite, the ice cream Pokemon, but I'm sure everyone thinks that, so honestly, that one I didn't put there purely because it's too mainstream. Yep, I'm going full hipster. Another Pokemon I hate is uh, right in front of me, actually. I hate Chansey, because Stall, Softboiled, Eviolite, piece of crap. I hate it. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Blissey is okay. Blissey I can deal with. Chansey is just even more bulky than that though and that gets annoying. There's also a Loma Mola which falls into the same bracket. I also hate that. You'll notice I hate a lot of stall Pokemon. And another one that I truly hate would be the Elemental Monkeys. So like the Panseer, Pansage. That trio of Elemental Monkeys I think are absolute trash. But now that that's out of the way, we're going to go into our number one Pokemon, which I'm sure everyone knows what it is by now. It's a Pokemon that had a Pokedex entry that kind of terrified me as a kid. Still kind of terrifies me. The Pokemon itself is a living corpse. It's, it's Parasect. Parasect, yep. This Pokemon, I hate this Pokemon. I hate everything about it. It's a disgusting Pokemon. It, it terrifies me in a way. It isn't even alive. The Pokemon is dead. This thing is a dead Paras walking around with a parasitic mushroom on its bread can... On its back, on its bread, <laughs> on its bread, what are we talking about? This Pokemon inflicts fear into my very soul. <laughs> um, but yeah, Parasect is a dead Paras with a mushroom on its back controlling its limbs. Like, no, 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 that's terrifying. No, that's so messed up. I don't like it, but yeah. 
That that is gonna be our top six most hated Pokemon, and we have to make a team around them. Obviously, I'm not. I'm just gonna put this out here now. I am not expecting this team to perform very well. We'll start with our core because this. I mean, we can we can get behind what this is, and for some reason, none of the search is working on Pokemon Showdown right now. So uh, we'll just have to find it ourselves. But that's fine. I could run Bright Powder, but that's not why it's click. <laughs> So we will run especially defensive Amoongus. This is this is horrible. I'm having to use Pokemon that I don't actually like. So we'll run Synthesis, we'll run Giga Drain, we'll run Sludge Bomb, and we will also run Spore. We want you to be especially defensive, not especially offensive. I'd rather not have an offensive uh, Amoongus, that'd be a little bit weird. So yep, that's one part of our core that's going to go nicely. We also have Quagsire, which we will give the leftovers. I hate this not searching thing, I always search. Oh dear. We'll give it unaware. We will give it the... Ooh. Hmm. What do we want to give it? We'll give it Toxic. Scald. Recover and Stockpile. I'm just going with the, si the set that I hate the most. That's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm going with the Pokemon set that I think is the most annoying to go up against. So I am I am actually gonna anger some people with this core, because it would this is like my worst nightmare using this team. Um as for Sunkan, I d I don't know what I am meant to do with Sunkan. I keep searching and it's not a thing. Um I really I don't have any idea what I am meant to do with this Pokemon. We'll give it Leech Seed. Um Oh dear, I really don't know what we're going to do with this. We'll give it Toxic. Maybe it can Toxic something. Uh, we'll give it Protect. That could be a thing. Um, do we just make this thing straight up Toxic Stall with, like, Substitute? Or what else can we do? Does this thing get anything crazy? Like, I mean, we could run Captivate. I mean, maybe not. Uh, confide. We have. We have. We have to find something crazy. Plus grass power. Plus. Hmm. We have three grass types. Grassy terrain may not even be the worst thing imaginable. I don't know. Um, we could run sunny day, but then again, we have three grass types. That'd be terrible. This is gonna be such a struggle. We could give a swagger. We could give it Swagger. I don't know if we can run Swagger in uh, in OU. I think there's Swagger Claws. I don't know. We'll give it Swagger for now. If we can't run it, then we'll obviously get rid of it. But um, we'll go with Swagger for now. Okay, that is that is a disgusting set. I'm very sorry. Now, as for Watchhog, I think Watchhog gets Swords Dance. I can't search for things. I need to get this into my head. Uh, it does get Swords Dance. It does get its analytic, which is probably its best ability. Uh, what else can this thing even run? What is Watchhog? What do I do with this thing? We'll give you like a Lumberry so you don't get burned if we're running Swords Dance, I guess. Uh, we'll give you Knock Off. That's a good move. Facade, I guess, is a good move. It's not really what I want to run. I guess we'd run return. I I assume. I mean we could run retaliate, but I feel like return is probably our strongest move. Roto Tyler? God, there's some weird things this thing can get. Um Flail is a thing. We could run this thing with Focus Sash Flail. Self Assault Stance, tear for opponents with that. That would be that'd be kinda good. But I think we're just going to go with the safe return, and I think our last move, we could either give Power Up Punch or Low Kick, because I'm pretty sure Normal, Dark, and Fighting cover each other perfectly. I think we'll give it Low Kick, and uh, we will see how that goes. This is probably one of our best chances of winning, if we can get a sweep with this thing, and it's only base 77 speed. So I doubt that's going to happen in OU. We're going to get wrecked, by the way. Um, we'll give a Citrus Berry to... I don't know why I keep typing these things in. Citrus Berry to Hariyama. We're gonna make you a very standard set. We're gonna make you, like, have clo close combat. 
uh, bullet punch. Um, we'll give you ice punch and you get such good moves. I just never know what to run. We don't need earthquake. That would hit like rock and steel types, which we can hit with close combat anyway. We have bullet punch to hit fairies, so we don't need poison jab. I'm gonna assume we just want knock off. Yeah, we'll just want knock off. And we'll obviously make that thing bulky, give it some attack power, and hope for the best with that. And now I have to make a set around this. What do I do with this thing? What does does Parasect have any usage? Is this Pokemon a thing? Does this thing have sets? I don't know. I tend to ignore it. <clears throat> Could run another knockoff Pokemon. We'll give it X Scissor. Um. Seed Bomb, I, I guess. Um. Chili? <laughs> Do we run Agility Parasect? How, what What is its speed? What can its speed go to? Hold, hold on. Are we gonna... <laughs> are we gonna run Agility Parasect? Is this... Is this a thing that we can do? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. It probably still needs a Salak Berry in all honesty. Um, oh, we, have to, we can't search for things, this is so annoying. Um, we'll give it a Salak Berry, I guess. <laughs> it's so stupid. We'll give it Agility, and I guess we'll, we'll give it, um... I don't know. At the moment, we can't hit Steel types, we can't hit Fire types. Do you get, like, any physical ground move? Dig. <laughs> Do we run Dig? I think- oh my god, can you imagine? We also don't have Flying types, so Dig probably isn't the best. Bell Stinger? Hold on. Hold on. We're- yes. Oh yes. We are so running Fell Stinger. Oh my god, this could be fun. <laughs> this could- <laughs> I swear to god, if I get a sweep of this, <laughs> it's all gonna be over. I'm never gonna be happy again if I get a sweep of this. We'll also give it Knock Off just to hit things. And I guess that we're running this set. We are gonna be running max speed because I feel like we're gonna need as much speed as possible. Um, this set is disgusting. The only way we're gonna get this to go anywhere is if we come in on like a water type or a grass type and all their spawned and we swap straight into this. Ah, oh, that's so disgusting. This team is so disgusting. It's just a mess of attempts of sweeps, a random freaking sun curtain that's gonna try and stall people to death, and and stall Pokemon themselves. This is this is actually disgusting. Can we run Swagger? We cannot run Swagger because of Swagger Claws. Okay, okay. So it is just like I thought. In that case, I think we need to run something that will allow setup. I would love it if this thing got. Oh, what's the move called? Memento? Of course it doesn't have Memento. Why wouldn't this thing have Memento? Why wouldn't this thing be useful? I don't know what I want to run on this thing. I really don't. What am I meant to run on this thing? It's so bad. I just, I just don't understand what I'm meant to do with this. It's a sunken. It's base 30 in all of its stats. Kill me. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Endeavor? Endeavor might not be the worst. It might allow something to be revenge killed. We could Endeavor a stall Pokemon. Maybe? I think that might be worth it. Okay, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try running Endeavor. This, this is disgusting. Okay. Uh, validate. Alright, that's gonna be a team. This is gonna be one of the worst teams ever to make in the history of ever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but this is gonna be disgusting. So make sure you check out the battles for this, this mess of a team. And if you guys have enjoyed finding out my top six most hated Pokemon, watching me make this cringy-ass freaking uh, team builder, leave a link. <laughs> 
<laughs> leave a like, leave a like down below and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, bye. <laughs> this is a mess.